Alright, so we are back here in the long drive. We are searching out this tower stop. We actually left out here last episode. I don't need gas. I need like, I don't know, uh, a barrel or something. How are the cats doing? Also, by the way, I promised to start using the technical, the gun that's on top. I saw so many comments last time of people going, why don't you use this? Bus, get away. So yeah, I think it's time to load up. Uh, there's a human foot in here. You know, surprisingly there was, uh oh. No, 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 that's a red UFO. Wait a minute. Does it still work the way it used to work? Okay, oh, wait, it seems really high up, doesn't it? Okay, are we, are we good? Uh oh. Wait a minute, the cats. We're good. No, no, they're taking the cat. No, no, they're trying to take me. Okay, no, no, stay in, stay in, stay in. <gasps> Oh, they just launched an AI car. Hold on, I need my lights. Are the cats okay? Okay, hold on, run back. I could faintly see it. Oh my goodness. All right, come on lights, come back. Holy man, you know, maybe I shouldn't have enabled that mod. There goes the red UFO. The bus driver seems okay. There was another car it flung. My goodness, I just wanted to start where we left off last episode. Maybe I should go to sleep, hold on. Do we still have our parts? Uh, I can't, oh, and lights are starting to come back on, I think. Oh, is everybody okay? Okay, Maxwell's in there. Uh, check the back. Um, whew. Oh my goodness, I think everything was physics locked. You know, that could have been a whole lot worse. Did you see it launch us up to the top of the roof there? If I wasn't in that building, I probably would have died. We need to go to sleep. Oh, wow. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. All right, it is the next day. My goodness, that was a scare there. Well, now you guys know the power of the red UFO. I wonder if I could have just ran like out into the field and avoided the pool. I don't know how far the pool is. By the way, Maxwell's are okay. Everybody's okay. Uh, we dodged a bullet there. Maybe I should just stop traveling at night altogether. Well, I, I would say that, but we've seen the UFOs come out during the day, but if it's a red UFO during the day, I'm really screwed. So yeah, we should probably just get away from that tower. That feels like it's fairly cursed. So yeah, it didn't really strip off much of the vehicle. I was able to track down a couple pieces. I was just morally shocked that our series almost ended there. Thankfully, it doesn't take pieces. Does it take pieces off? Or is, is it just when it throws it? Like I, I was, uh, a couple pieces were like moved a little bit, but it seemed like everything was pretty much intact. Uh, but man, that could have been a whole lot worse. Like I said, if I was outside, I think if I was in the car, it didn't really throw the diesel too far. Uh, it threw the one car, which I didn't even see it when I came back during the day. I think it just despawned. Uh, but man, if you're in a normal sized car, that thing would fling you. And that landing would potentially kill you. But you know what? We're gonna just forget about it. We gotta, well, we actually have a nice looking desert road we get to drive on today. Let's go find the cats some stuff. Let's just not deal with red UFOs anymore. Wait a minute, there is a stop to the left. We might need to take advantage of that. Uh, also, I think I'm probably hungry. I got water in the back and I got some bacon on the side. My goodness, the brakes, I've got them locked up here. They're just not working. The brakes are bad on this. We need like brake replacements. Like that needs to be like a, an option. All right, Ons, get out here. Uh, what is that over there? That is, eh, it's not a bad stop, but not a great stop. Oh, uh, let's look up the road. We just got like a winding road that doesn't look like it has really anything, unless there's something behind one of the blind hills. Yo, we're not heading back to a snow biome, are we? Oh, I don't know if I'd like that. All right, on, eat some, oh, hot. Hey there, yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, I'm peeing on the bacon. I, I didn't mean to do that. My goodness, this person's got a powerful stream here. All right, there we go. Uh, put the bacon back in there. Cats, everybody's okay. Let's drink some more water here. Okay. Let's just get back on track here. Everything's fine. The cats, they all seem to be in one uh, one piece. I don't think any sucked out the windows. I didn't see anything fly away, but I mean, did, wait, how many I have? One, two, three, four. I had five cats, right? Or did I have six? I don't know. Uh, all right, <laughs> so my poos are rolling down. So yeah, uh, find more parts, use the machine gun more on top of the vehicle because I saw everybody saying, my goodness, Komodo runs away from a fight, but he's got a machine gun mounted. You know, it's that thing called YouTube revision. You're recording a video, you're talking, you're having a ball, and then you kind of lose your mind and forget that you have things that would actually help you out. So no more hiding from mutants. We will take them on if I can get up into the top. Now, if it was the snowmen from a couple episodes ago, you just run because they're kind of glitched out. And yeah, I died. Uh, it was a glitch death though, because you used to be able to destroy them and now you can't. I am a little concerned because it looks like we're heading back to the snow, so it might be like round number two with them. Uh, I don't really look forward to that. Speaking of stops though, that is a down plane over there. They, ha they normally have a lot of food and surprisingly enough, 
which, you know, you're not supposed to have on a plane. Uh, weapons. They have, like, weapons in the back. I mean, I guess if you're, like, certified or something, you can have a weapon. I don't know what the rules are about that. Uh, but, yeah. Let's go up here. Let's search this thing out. Also, I need to start going to the watchtowers, too. Because I know a lot of those spawn with a little bit of ammo. I've been searching for ammo for my shotgun for, like, three episodes. I found a really cool one. And I've gotten to fire it once. No, are you guys storing ammo over here? Um, maybe? Yo, it's weird. It, it almost seems, like, kind of empty out here. It's like there's not as many stops. Alright, uh, anything at the base here? Nope. Uh, oh, let's climb up here. Oh, I hear a, a rabbit. All right, jump, climb. You know, it'd be really, really scary is, is if you found one of these. Oh, is that a... That's a flashlight. Uh, you know, I could actually use that. Here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you know it would have been so cool if I would have landed in the hole in the top. We didn't get any weapons. You've got to be kidding me. I want a weapon. All right, well, I mean, flashlight it is. I can... Wait, when did I lose my headlight? Did I lose it during the UFO attack? I might have. Uh, it's not a big deal. I can find a headlight. Those are pretty easy. Uh, I'm just going to try not to die here. Let's just grab this. No, stay away from me. Uh, I've already been, like, something's tried to kill me once. I don't need a second thing. All right, go, 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 go. Close that. All right, get the heck out of here. Where the bunny shows up. Uh, let's head over to that plane, which is is disappeared. I'm assuming it's behind a hill over here. All right. Well, this is the plane here. Uh, hoping to find some good stuff. You know, mutants never spawn in this thing. This one actually looks a little further out of the ground than the others. Uh, maybe it's because we're not really super close to it right now. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, hoping for food. Hoping for a bazooka. That needs to be a mod. We need a bazooka mod. I need to be able to, like, fire into, like, a haunted house and just completely wipe it out. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, what do we got in here? Uh, you guys got some food? Normally you got some decent stuff up in the cabin. Oh, there's a person in here. Oh, poor person, oh, he's fine. Uh, he's just hanging out. Okay, nothing in the cockpit. Wait, what the, okay, hold on, what's this? Alcohol, don't really need that. Uh, I'll eat the cookie that survived the crash, that's good. Did the skull just like turn its head slightly when I got close? Oh, it must, I must have bounced into it. My, that kind of freaked me out. I was like, uh, its head just turned. Oh my goodness, there's a ton of stuff in here. Uh, I need to collect some of this. Hold on, let's go to the back real quick, see if there's cargo. Oh, there's one. <gasps> Shotgun ammo. No, air fresheners. Yeah, that's definitely something that people stick on the plane. They're like, you know what? We need those air fresheners. Is there anything in here? No, it's empty. How do you like your plain sausage? I like it uh, extra seasoned with uh, jet fuel and stuff. Uh, oh, I can still eat more of this. Okay. Uh, I'll stick this up in here. Just stick that. I'm going to save the rest of that for later. All right. So where are we heading here is the question. Where, where did the road? Okay, there's the road. So it goes down through here. And it goes up through, I'm assuming, there or somewhere there around there somewhere i don't know wait where does the road go i thought i'd have a good view of it it must turn all right let's head back uh it's is it already starting to get dark i didn't think i drove that much today all right let's go ahead and get moving again really come on you know what yeah up oh, don't run in a straight line oh oh my goodness <gasps> all right we're heading back to the road uh, let's get going i'm hoping we don't end up in another snow biome that's the only thing i'm kind of worried about that and then the uh and the possibilities of more red ufos but i feel like that's like a one every like five to ten green ufos so i'm gonna assume that we're good for a little bit at least by the way we, we still need to become a police officer and i know one of our uh, last episodes i was like an undercover one I need to have a different vehicle at some point, which we always switch vehicles about every, I don't know, five to ten episodes. So maybe we'll switch one where we can actually have a legit cop car. I'd like to find another Fury. You know, I'm almost kicking myself in the rear end for not taking that one uh, several episodes ago. We found one at the end. And, oh, they just wiped out on the rock. Ha <laughs> ha, losers. Oh, really? Now the cops are harassing me. Hey, I'm one of you. I don't have my police officer outfit on, but, you know, here, just just pass. You can go past. I'm literally not stopping you. Why are you hanging? I feel like, no, you, you gotta go away. Uh, this be the time I wish I had some shotgun ammo. Um, all right, let's go over. Let's see what the road does, because I didn't see it in the last shot, and then we kind of just disappear over this little hill. Uh, also, we are totally going to sleep here in a minute. I don't think it even matters if we sleep, because I still feel like the UFO, when it spawns, it's coming regardless. Uh, but let's hope that's not a thing. Also, we are on a we're on a pretty high uphill here, so it probably would be worth it to try to sleep. Uh, I don't know if I can yet. Let's pull over to the side of the road. 
Let's just try to survive another day here in the long drive. Is our new goal trying to make it to one year? <laughs> like, is that a thing? Uh, surviving one year in the long drive? All right, uh, let's fall asleep. Okay, so we have an oil tanker on the left. Not really concerned with gas right now. I mean, I could go just top up and have it be completely full, but... I haven't really had any issues. Uh, well, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm like, maybe I should go get some gas. Uh, just to be sure. You never know. Maybe this is like the last oil tanker we find for the next, like, 100 miles or something. That would be awful. Uh, all right. I'm going to go off. I, I keep checking behind me now for UFOs. Uh, the road does seemingly go to the right, but I do think it might go up into that snow biome. Oh, there's a gas station over there, too. Nice. Uh, we probably should have went there first. Too late. I'm already committed to going down the hill really fast. Oh, is that a jump? Oh, this might be a jump. Hold on. Is this lift? Does it lift? No. Oh, oh, we did it a little bit. I was hoping for, like, an actual, like, decent jump there. Uh, it's like the time the dev added ramps to the game, and it was like, why? Like, I wish they put the ramps in different spots. A lot of times, they're... Oh, no. What kind of crash was that? Um, Maxwell, can you open the door up? Here, open the door up over there. Come on, pop pop it open. Uh, uh. All right, well, uh, engage parking brake, please. Okay, that is, is it up? Okay, it's up. So when it, like, eventually flips itself back, uh, it won't roll off. I've had that happen many times. All right, superhuman strength there. Uh, let's roll a little bit closer. I'm lazy. I don't feel like walking. A lot of barrels in there, though. Uh, should be able to find a diesel barrel. All right. We only have about 400 barrels to go through in here. It's fine. Uh, oil. Come on. Gas. Uh, oil. You know, I should probably top the engine oil up. I, I might actually take one of these. I don't want to carry a ton of barrels in the back. Uh, mainly looking for diesel, though. My goodness. I think we're going to have to go through all the barrels here. Like, none of these have just diesel in it. Like, I just need diesel. That would be kind of frustrating. Uh, that one's got gas. Hold on. We got two more over here. Empty. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Why did I even show up over here? Empty. Uh, maybe one of the barrels on the far side I haven't checked. Does anybody even have a clue how these got here? Like, how did the tanker end up in the middle of the desert? That would mean... Oh, there we go. Uh, that would mean that this whole thing was the ocean at one point, but how did the roads get down here? There's a lot unexplained. Maybe it was a massive tsunami came through this area. All right, well, we have 50 plus liters, so I mean, I think we're good to we're good to go for a little bit. There's actually another oil tanker back here, uh, back behind this one. It's a little further down. I thought maybe I'd go back up to that gas station, but a lot of times this, the stop isn't that great, so we're good on fuel. I've got food and water. Uh, let's just keep making progress here. Uh, get back to the road and see where it actually is going to take us. I've got the gun on top, but I need the mutants to come outside. That way I can light them up. Uh, also, another bad thing is that is definitely, I think it's going up to a snow biome. I can see the road. It's another mountain. I'm getting tired of these things. <sighs> it's going to be fine though. We're going to go to this haunted house. I'm going to definitely find shotgun ammo like I've been looking for. Maybe some new weapons. Uh, that'd be great. I feel like I haven't really found many weapons since the old bus death. Uh, like, oh my goodness, that was like six or seven episodes ago. So yeah, uh, I'd like to find some good weapons in here, but I need all the occupants of the house to come outside. Uh, that way I can shoot them in the face, uh, cause that's the way this works. Oh, brakes, brakes. I've got the brakes fully freaking engaged. Are we good? Cat, you get, oh. Maxwell is now stuck to the uh, the top of the roof. It's fine. Hey, mutants. Oh, wait. Is there any in the doors? There. We'll just start opening fire all over the building real quick. See if we can attract any of them out. I don't like they're attracted to gunfire. I think... I want to say maybe the mutants came here. I think it's only light of... Like, I guess you could call it line of sight. Hey, buddies. Somebody come chase me outside. I need you out here. I want to see what you got on the inside here. That sounds weird. Hey, buddy. Look, I'm, I'm in your house. Anybody over here? Hold on, I'm going to slip over this way. Ammo? No, no ammo. Mutant. Oh, wait, did they really mount a technical right here? Hold on, can I? Okay, if I put this down. Oh, oh this is going to be kind of weird. Attach. Can I use this? Can I sit? Hold on. Oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> in here? Oh, there's a rifle in here. I'll take that. Uh, need this headlight. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Hello. Okay, nope. Clear. Uh, clear. Sounds like they're so freaking close. Might be on the, might be on the other side of the door. There's a Jimmy up there, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, not over there. Okay, let's go far side. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, sounding pretty quiet now. Maybe there's only two in here. All right, let's go check the basement first before I start to so uh, search through this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to find maybe another Maxwell. That'd be kind of cool. Any Maxwells in here? And my goodness, there's a ton of cookies in here. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with cookies. I like cookies. Maxwell? No, shotgun. I mean, not the shoddy that I was wanting, but it's a shoddy nonetheless. Uh, can I take the shells out? I don't know if that's a thing or not. Yeah, the shells are already loaded in there. I don't know if I could actually pull them out. By the way, how hard is this sausage? Can it break boxes? No, it can't. Dude, wait, there's something in this one. Uh, where did my binoculars go? Uh, I was wanting to throw... Okay, the gun will work too. Uh, uh, why won't this break? Yeet! There we go. Oh, it's a radiator. You know, I, I saw... What... <laughs> wait. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, there was two Maxwells in here. There really could have been three because there's a giraffe in here too. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna join the party. Okay, this is like the best episode ever. All right, so this is just some of the loot that I've gathered up. Uh, I need to go back in and get the big gun and mount it to the vehicle, but my goodness, look, two glorious new Na Maxwell cats. Plus, wait, there was a Jimmy up in the, uh, where the books were. Uh, I'm gonna do one more sweep of the house, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Uh, but yeah, I'll get that. We got food, got some ammo, a little bit of cleaner here, two flashlights. It's been a good day. Now, here comes the bad part. So, if we look up, uh, is it this way or is it that way? I think it's that way. Uh, all I know is, is that we're going up a big hill after this. And that hill looks like it might lead back into like a snow biome. So, we're going to have to be very, very careful when we get back on the road because it could be very dangerous. Uh, we need to make sure we're prepared. Yeah, that, that's definitely like snowy cap mountains. And I think the roads are heading right there. So, there's a chance we're going to have round number two with the snowman next episode. But we're going to have two mounted guns. We just got to remember you cannot stop. Like, don't stop because when they surround the car, they don't die like they used to die. So it's going to be like one of those things we need to run through. I would love to find a turbo for this thing. But, I mean, it's been a good episode. Let me know what you guys think. We'll see you guys next time in the long drive.